in conventional biology when I was teaching medical school, we only talked about information in the form of chemistry, uh, hormones, drugs, uh, pharmaceutical agents of some kind, uh, as that's what provides information to the system. So if the system's not working right, uh, you take a drug, and the drug carries a signal and information and then uh, changes the operation of the body. So we're very locked into a mechanical, physical uh, biology, and that's conventional allopathic medicine. When we talk about chemistry and we bring a drug into the body, the, the drug to work has to bind to something, have a chemical reaction. When we go back to our days in high school when we all were playing with chemistry sets, uh, you, you might remember that when we added chemicals in a test tube and you held onto the test tube, the test tube got very hot and warm. Well, in the nature of physics, heat is called dissipated energy or wasted energy. If I use a chemical to carry a signal, and I say that there's a 100% a energy of signal in a chemical, and I say then I make a chemical reaction, but then I have to subtract the energy of the reaction. It's a thermochemical reaction. The heat that comes off is energy that was being carried but is not being used for information. It's just part of a chemical reaction, heat of reaction. Well, it turns out 98 to 99 percent of the energy carried in a physical molecule is lost in the form of heat. So if I say, okay, I have a chemical carrying 100% information, it goes into the body, has a chemical reaction to pass that information, then I say 98 to 99% of that energy available for information was wasted as heat. So a chemical reaction carries anywhere from 1% to at most about 2% of the energy is transferred as information, a loss of 98% or more of the energy, okay? What if I send energy via vibrational signature, sound or electromagnetic field or light? I say, these are vibrational energies. I say, if you're passing a signal with a vibrational energy, how much of that energy is lost in the reaction? Virtually none. So if I say, okay, now I'm gonna compare the effectiveness of a chemical signal and an energy signal. And the results are very simple. The chemical signal passes 1% information the energy signal passes nearly 100% of the information. So the first conclusion was energy is 100 times more efficient in sending an informational signal than our chemical signal. So given the choice of you want to do a chemical reaction or an energy healing, uh, you get 100 times more efficiency from the energy healing. That's right off. And also there's a second character as well. How fast does it take the information to get to the, from, the, from the source to the destination? Well, chemicals have to move through fluid. So let's say uh, uh, measure how fast does a chemical move uh, in one, one foot. And if it was really moving fast, I'd say take one second for that chemical to move one foot. So I say, ah, chemical signal travels at about, at this case, one foot per second. What about a vibrational signature like, e, you know, electromagnetic fields or photo, photo light or something like that? That travels at 186,000 miles per second. So I said, well, which is more effective? Uh, a chemical going one foot in one second or a vibrational signature going 186,000 miles in the very same second? The answer is, oh my gosh, it's profoundly faster. So then you look at the nature of biological systems which depend on signals for their survival. And if your survival is dependent on receiving a signal, interpreting a signal, so you can make a response. I say, uh, I, I could signal you with a chemical, or I could signal you with vibration. And the answer is, the biological system would by far have a preference for the vibrational energy because it's so profoundly fast and so you know, significantly efficient that if your life depends on getting a signal, and the cell's, the, the cell's life does, then there, there's no comparison between the two. Chemicals work, but not anywhere as effectively or as efficiently as energy healing. And this is why uh, we're moving from an allopathic chemical drug-related medicine into energy medicine, because it's now been recognized that energy, which includes thought as well, is profoundly more effective in healing than our chemicals.